Alrighty guys, so today I am going to be taking a look at the X5C-1 uh, quadcopter. Um, I want to say a big thanks to uh, Gearbest for sending this to me. And uh, even though they sent this to me guys, I am going to give my honest opinion of this. And um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So, go ahead and open it up here. All right, so it pretty much just slides out. On top, you have the manual. Go through here, it's basically the standard manual telling you um, about the about the uh, re remote there, controller, um, how to charge the battery, turn it on, and basically then how to fly it. Pretty standard with these. Um, has a list of spare parts here. So that's that's the manual. Take the top off. It's nicely packaged up here. Um, we have in the bag here. We have a little USB uh, converter for the um, micro USB to, uh, or sorry, micro SD card to the USB. Uh, so you can transfer the files. Got the charging cable and a screwdriver. Um, we got prop guards here. We got an extra set of props for it and we'll just take a quick look here at the transmitter so they come with this little these little foam things on it um, feels kind of nice one of the nicer ones I've gotten with one of these toy grade quadcopters um, these buttons down here do not do anything um, they're just yeah they're, they're just pieces of plastic there uh, on and off switch it does require I believe double-a batteries and I will go and put them in then So now we get to the actual quadcopter itself Pull it out here. It's fairly light um, It does have the brush motors with the gears on it there and It has a small camera down here and I will put the specifications of the camera on the screen. The battery compartment is underneath the camera. You slide it back, pick it up. Now the only thing I don't really like about this is this is all further it goes and this battery connector in here is really hard to get to. Um, so it's a little cumbersome taking it in and out there for charging. And uh, here's the power switch. So if we see here, it lights up with green in the back and it looks like orange in the front. And uh, then it has a green light on the camera. Then to put that back on, you just clip it in. Now it doesn't always clip in back here, right? But so you just have to make sure you get it in. And that's very flimsy there, as you can see. Uh, let me turn this lights off it does come also with a small micro um, SD card here so that can just go in there it's 4 gig SD card so first impressions looks fairly nice um, I will see here how it flies so let me go ahead and put batteries in it and uh, we will see then how it flies and take use the camera a little bit see what kind of video quality we get out of it how easy it is to use it alrighty so hopefully I have my GoPro here set right so let's go ahead and turn it on now so flip the switch in the back yep light should come on turn on our transmitter up down arms it so let's take it for a flight here okay hovers nice you need a little bit of fine tuning here but I'll get that then not a lot of punch Have a little bit of a breeze out here today. 
Let's try a flip. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work, so maybe I have the wrong button here. There's medium rate. All right, it doesn't have a lot of stopping power, I'll tell you that much. Let's go to rate three. It tends to want to drift, so when you let off the stick, it'll just keep going. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try turning on the camera now. Alrighty guys, so for the rest of this flight video here, um, I was having too much fun and forgot to uh, actually say anything. So I'm just going to do the voiceover here. So I just want to go over a few things here. Um, so flying this was actually a lot of fun. Um, you could really slow it down on mode one and just take it easy and cruise around. Or you could take it up to mode two, um, which was really fast. Um, you can move around a good bit. So it handled really well. Um, it did drift a little bit when you let, let off the sticks. It wouldn't stop and stay in place. It would just continue going. Um, and it was, you know, but overall it flew really well, handled good. I have no complaints there. Uh, flight time, I was getting about a constant, about five and a half minutes or so. Um, and I fly it pretty much all the time. If you were just hovering or standing still for most of the time, you could get a good probably six and a half minute, seven minute flight time out of it. Um, as for video and stuff, it says it's HD. Uh, when I recorded video, it came out um, as a 1280 by 736 resolution. Um, it does look pretty good. I'll have a video clip here towards the end that you guys can watch of another flight I did. Pictures, it does um, 2560 by 1440. Um, so the pictures actually turned out really good, and I'll see if I can put a couple of the ones that I took up on the screen now. But overall, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, and I'm not just saying that because GearBest sent it to me. I actually genuinely enjoyed flying it and just, just racing it around the backyard. Um, as for actual camera quality and stuff, for this price of a quadcopter, it's really good. The only thing about it is it's tilted too far up, so when you're flying at higher speeds or whatever, you're looking straight down at the ground. So you either have to be really high or just slowly going across, you know, just to get that good video footage. A um, couple other things I didn't really like about it, and I mentioned this before, was the way the battery mounts in. It's really hard to get the cable out so you can charge it again. I have a hard time with that. And, um, but besides that, everything else looks good. The controller and the quad look to be good quality. I have no complaints there. It was packaged really well. And it just overall very pleasing for this price point. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll have a link in the description that you guys can go to and, uh, and order this. Um, this would probably be a great Christmas gift. Christmas is coming up here soon. Um, so if you have anybody in your family or friends that likes quadcopters or whatever, this would be, this would be nice. Um, now I did not test it out with the prop guards and stuff on to see what kind of time I would get. Um, I wouldn't think it would decrease the time too much due that they don't weigh very much. So yeah, that would be something else. I did figure out how to do flips. Um, you got to hold the right bumper button while selecting your direction you can't just hit it and then do the flips so you do have to hold it and um, choose your direction and there was very little drop once it came out of the flip it, it recovered very well so that's a plus to it but yeah overall I'm really happy with this quad and uh, I think you guys should go out and get it
and uh, have a lot of fun with it. Alright, so now I'm going to be uh, posting a quick video here at the end of the actual camera quality and you guys can see how it looks.